Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up guys? So I've seen people do these really cool, like script kind of graffiti type letters in Nomad Sculpt. So uh, let's give it a try. We'll use the new tube, tube tool in Nomad Sculpt. So, and this is Nomad Sculpt 1.79. I actually need to make, a, I need to make a title for my 1.79 video that I just recorded. So maybe we'll um, do that. Uh, okay, let me think. Let's get rid of the sphere. Let's use the tube. This is going to be, uh, call it tubey. So tube tool, and we'll use curve. All right, so I don't really, I'm not really a good, uh, <laughs> let's see, how would I make an N? Let's, let's do it like this. Maybe we'll go down. And like this, is that a decent N? I mean, kind of works. I kind of wish it was all one thing though, right? Kind of needs to be all one thing. Let's try it again. I'm doing my best here, folks. I'm doing my best. So if I was gonna make just one. So, I don't know, let's just try some stuff out. So obviously this makes the whole thing thicker. Let's change the profile first. And what are these, what are these things? That's so strange, I don't know what, the, oh, that's just the thing folding back on each other. I think that's what it is. So it's great, so there's less, there's less of these thingies, which is good. Let's do a spline to make it nice and curvy think that's better right yeah that's definitely better excuse me so i think it's just these like these bits that are like a little too close together i'm just going to add a node and kind of separate them i don't mind that they're touching a little bit but let's bring this down oh also i think it needs a bit more geometry maybe to look a little bit better maybe one tube to pot. i don't think this i don't think this helps no let's keep that at 30. there's also radius but i think maybe we'll do oh that makes it look really i feel like it's helpful but it might be too too much for me to handle right now. So we'll just make we'll make it a little bit bigger. I mean it's not too bad, I don't think. For someone who doesn't really Alright, so let's add some add some points and try to get rid of some of these green these green things it's also twisting too i'm noticing it's twisting a good amount i don't know why um maybe we do need radius maybe we can like make these middle bits a little bit smaller but I can't even tell like which ones are connected to these. Don't try to go in my book bag. Sorry, I'm dealing with the cat, the animal. 
So that's a little better. So I'm making all of these little bits smaller where they kind of like go into each other a little bit too much and it gets kind of crazy. The only thing is it's hard to follow which node is connected. Like I can't tell which node is connected to this. Oh, it must be that one. So there's a little trick to figure it out. You just wiggle the node around. So then we have like at least some nice curves there. Actually quite fun, actually. I do I do say actually a lot, I know. What can you do? I would like to make that bigger. I could get that break out of there. Okay, maybe we'll just You have to sniff around and make noise. Hmm? Now this would be nice to make bigger. So let's see if I can, let's see what we can do here. Let's wiggle this around. It would also be nice if we could move it. We can move it, oh, oh turned everything. So yeah, I mean, it's a little tough, a little tough to figure out. But then again, I don't really do like these graffiti type things. So of course, it's going to be a little tough for me. All right. I thought I named it. Title. I must have named the other one. Let's get rid of this so it's a little more round. Oh. Let's wiggle this around and try to find these nodes. Make that smaller. And sometimes it is better to get rid of them because it'll it'll be much more round. Like these curves become much more round if uh, there's less of them. Let's, I kind of want to bring it forward. You know, I kind of want to put it like in front of this other curve. Oops. So I'm just trying to bring those nodes, just trying to make sure that I'm actually choosing the right nodes. Just trying to bring that forward a bit. Okay, but now I want, I need to... Yeah, that's better. See, that's what I mean. It's like, if you take some away, then sometimes it looks, it looks a lot better. I just want to increase some of these so that there's not so much space. Maybe oh, it's interesting that it turns it. And this would be nice if it was behind, but the only thing is I'm worried that it's going to turn it because it does tend to twist. I wish I could take the radius nodes away. That would be kind of nice. So I could just see, you know, what I'm working on. And it, the twist is a bit annoying. When I'm just trying to move that back. And maybe this too, maybe this would be nice if it was behind. I think it's this node. The thing is really serious about twisting. This node back to you. 
Okay, so kind of interesting. I think I kind of like it. Let's take some of these curves away. Let's just make this a little more curvy by removing some of the, and let's make this, which one is this? Not too terrible. Okay. Let's validate. <laughs> oh, God. Um, this looks really, really odd. I wonder if I can use move and, like, move the parts around. Sometimes move doesn't... Or is it drag? No, that was moving them both. But anyway, so, I mean, you have a word. Obviously, you can work it out better than I can. But, oh, let's, before I do that, let's check the twist. Because sometimes you can make it better. I'm not, what is it called, ambidextrous? I'm not at all. That also could be a reason why it didn't really look good. Because of the way I had it twisted. I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. So let's save and let's um, let's see what happens if we voxel remesh it. I actually don't know. They look like garbage. Okay, cool. Let's see if we voxel remesh it higher at like five, at like 600. Okay, it's better. Let's see what happens if we smooth it out. Okay. Interesting. So let's see what happens if we just uh, add some lighting. So let's turn off the... Ooh, we got some different things here, right? It's global Metcap. Okay, lit PB. Okay, so now when you're in Metcap, maybe it's not, maybe it's not different. I'm just a dum-dum. So we'll turn the environment off. We'll add a light. Soft shadows. Let's add a let's add a plane behind it. Snap. So we'll add a plane right here. Do post process. Oh, I still have an issue with those things. It's the only part. Can I smooth? I just want to smooth away those green bits. Okay, well, at least I can smooth them away. And you know what else? Let's change this to subsurface. Let's change the color to something more interesting. Okay, let's clone this. here turn the intensity down and let's make one on top too so let's add light spotlight let's just point it down
bring it off of the wall a bit. And you know what? I think we can add. I think we can add the last one. I'm going to clone this one, and I'm going to put it pointing to the side. Let's make it cool. Can't really read it, but I mean, you get the idea. I actually think it's, I think it's all right. Being that I don't really do this type of art at all, but got a little grain, got a little dithering, um, but I still think it's pretty cool. You can change this color to something else. I wish it looked more like Nomad because then I could use it for the uh, title. But maybe I'll just use it for this title. Oh, I really want to get rid of this. What am I validating? The plane? This is the only thing that kind of bugs me. This little tiny bit over here really bugs me. That I can't get that flat. I think that's a little bit better. This kind of bugs me as well. Got a little curve in there. Uh, is there anything else I want to add to this? Let's try something crazy. Let's clone this tube. And let's save our view. So we're add view. Okay, so we have our tube. I don't know, let's just experiment really quick. We're, all, we're pretty much done. We're gonna do pivot, center pivot. We'll move it back. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's change the color. Let's see how it looks. It's kind of interesting looking. What if it's an additive? That's kind of cool. What if it's a refraction? It doesn't even look like a refraction. Let's uh <clears throat> let's decimate it so I can smooth it down. Misc decimate, decimate, decimate. So I should be able to smooth it down a lot easier. I just want it to be behind the letters. I don't want it to be going into the letters. I guess I could use drag too. Turn post process off. I can use drag or move. It's probably the easier way to do it. All right, cool. Well, <clears throat> obviously, like not the coolest writing because I'm not good at like graffiti is like not my thing but hopefully this was useful to some of you and it's just fun to play around with the new features and play around with the tube tool so keep drawing keep sculpting i'll see you all in the next video
So what if I told you that you could create thousands of really amazing designs right in Procreate? What's up guys, welcome to Amazing Lines, Symmetry in Motion. My name is Dave Reed, better known as Drug Free Dave, and I just love to draw. I love to create beautiful things. Now, I went to art college, I went to School of Visual Arts about 100 years ago in New York City, and now I live in Brooklyn. I'm getting married in approximately 365 <laughs> days, but enough about me. So in this class, you'll learn all about symmetry. So we're gonna use Procreate, and I'm gonna teach you how to make some really intricate designs using radial symmetry. These are designs like mandalas and just other really beautiful designs using lines and different paintbrushes and things like that. You'll be able to use these designs as decoration, as backgrounds for other artwork, maybe even for your logo. This class is perfect for beginners or experienced artists. Even if you've used symmetry before, I might be able to show you a few new tricks drug-free Dave style. And with that, let's move on to the next video, class project.